Pete Rose, move over. You're not the dumbest man in the world anymore. I'm James the Greek. And I'm the DA. And this is Man Cave Sports. DA, what's going on, buddy? I love your intros. I love the I love the intros because I don't know what's ha- what's coming. I know the subject, what we're going to talk about, but I have no idea your intro or anything like that. And they're sometimes they're they're just so dumb. It's great. It 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 throws me off. That's funny because it throws me off, and it, I love it. Keep them coming. Today, I want to discuss the situation with Jonte Porter. This stupid bastard might be the dumbest human being in the history of the world if you don't know who john tay porter is david why don't you enlighten the fans john tay porter nba basketball player for the toronto raptors um guard i believe nba guard for toronto he's got a brother michael porter who is also in the nba i think is he with the nugs i think he may be with the nuggets i'm not sure on on his brother um he also has another brother. Yeah, Denver Nuggets. He had another brother in college, Coben Porter. Not a bad, not a not a good week for the brothers. Uh, just got sentenced to six years in prison for a DUI. Uh, I believe manslaughter. I don't know what the charge was. Like Marty basically killed somebody while drunk driving. Not a good week for the Porter family. The good news is he'll be joining Rick Vaughn in the California Penal League. Yes. Uh, I feel bad for him. College kid, drunk driving. That's that's not good. But you feel bad for him? You, but yeah, I feel bad for. I do feel bad for him. I feel ba- I feel much worse for the family. I feel bad for him. It is um, it is a tough spot to be when you're 20 years old, 22 years old at 2 a.m. And, and you've made a horrible choice that will completely change your life. I do feel bad for him. I he deserves what he got. But yeah, you still feel bad for the guy for making like how simple it is to to take a couple drinks and, and drive and not even think about it, and and your immediate life change right there, and the other family's life will change forever. Uh, how simple little things are like Uber, Uber, this Uber. Anyway, but Coben, this isn't even the story, which is crazy. This this is this is the side story to the real story, to the dumbest family in the history of the world potentially. Oh, the dumbest family, like the for in one week, I'll tell you what. There's not too many families that are having a worse week. So continue. What did Jante do to get become part of this stupidest family in America? I mean, no big deal, right? He just had a couple games where he was not feeling so good. Decided, I mean, I don't really want to play. Maybe a couple minutes. My stomach. I got a stomach bug. You know, he's he's not Jordan out there. No one's Jordan. No one can play with a stomach bug like him. It just happens to be there might have been a couple bets. At the same exact time that uh, Jonte's his under on the player props happened to have hit those games when he pulled himself out. And there happened to be uh, maybe a couple bets of $80,000 on a parlay that nets $1.1 million. And, he, and the biggest, the hardest part of that parlay is the, the Porter under. And he hits. He, they hit the Porter under. under. Uh, happened a couple times. And the, and the day and age, the problem is, this dude's playing playing these bets on like normal betting sites like like we have. So there's paper trails, there's money trails on this stuff. There's he can sit back and see what's going on. So he gets suspended from the NBA for life. He's banned. He gone because he started pulling himself out of games where there were massive bets. The problem, the thing too is the the Jonte Porter. It's not like the his bets, his props were like oh man like whole bunch of people are betting on the under or the over on him and then there's a lot of there's a lot of flow there's a lot of money going there's like no bets he's like no one's betting on Jonte porter on the under or the over no one's doing it and then all of a sudden a couple massive hits massive bets on on his at the same time when he pulls himself out of games 2024 brother that might be a red flag go with me on this so this year he was supposed to make four hundred thousand dollars he made four hundred grand, and he made twenty thousand dollars off of his bets, where he completely destroyed his career. Ardsma, how much money do you make right now in a savings account in the bank? Zero comment. No, I'm not talking about you personally, 
But the average interest rate right now on a savings account, if you have that kind of money, is about 5%. What is 5% of $400,000? You're asking me to do the math right now, so it'd be what, $20,000? Correct, it's $20,000. So instead of him doing something illegal, which got him kicked out of the league, all he had to do was put his money in a regular savings account, and he would have gotten that money. Yes. But he's too stupid to realize that there's no such thing as a quick buck. All you had to do was do it smart. I would say this like why it, all you had to do was try to be good just try to be a role player in the nba and you're making five a year like that's the problem with this like he could have just been a decent player and made and made way more money i, I get it though like he made twenty thousand dollars like that's still twenty thousand dollars in the bank that's still like and that's one night basically like that one night worth of like not being a great player and you can go out and pay for dinner for the whole team right or go out and buy it basically put a down payment on a car whatever you, you know whatever you want twenty thousand dollars worth you know probably buy a, a nice little rolly but then you saw the standard though man you hit the 20 you're good dude let's go for more we can do this let's let's make a prop out of this let's let's you know let's get a little parlay going you know, and that's when the red flags really happened. And and so he made nothing and he re lost his whole career on it, but he went for it a couple times. <laughs> he definitely went for it on one without a doubt. Just what are you doing, dude? I look at this like you're an NBA player. Like, just be good. Be good. Be a good, decent NBA player. Give me 10 points a game. You know, give me five, you know, 10 points a game and, and five rebounds. And any team will take you and they'll pay your ass. Give me your money. I'll invest it and I make 12.5% on my money this year. I'm pretty good at this investing thing. But regardless, he's a moron. His brother is a moron. I've never seen anything like this. In one week, one gets locked up and one gets destroys his career for life? Yeah. It's it's not a good week for for the family right now. And it's just again, like it's just the stupidity of trying to bet and, and trying to bet, you know, like at least Ipe was doing it with an illegal bookmaker, right? Like at least somebody like like under the table, if he wasn't stealing money from Shohei, we would never know. And no. the dude would still be doing it. Oh no, we would have known. We would have known because some he would have ended up in a freaking in cement boots. Nobody would have ever found them when he owed twenty million dollars to somebody. Well we would we would be going, oh what happened to Ipe? <laughs> but but he wouldn't be kicked out of the NBA. He wouldn't be kicked out of Major League Baseball. He would, he would still have a job or, you know, whatever. But, like, this dude is going through, like, normal betting sites. Like, they have IP addresses. They know exactly who's betting. Everybody knows who's betting, and they can make these links. Like, you don't understand the type of information you're giving these people when you sign up for these sites. And they have everything on you. Jante, like, you're telling me they're not going to red flag something like this? They're Every single time you make a prop bet, and that's the, that's the thing about prop bets, is they're extremely careful about those prop bets and making sure people don't do it. Like, it's like the stupid idiot said, oh, I had to make a prop bet that somebody's going to run on the field of a game. And then oh, they run on the field of the game. Do you think those people get paid? No, they don't get paid. They don't get the money because you can't just create it yourself. And so... These things are are covered. They're 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 watched. They're they're extremely watched. Probably more than the standard betting lines, unless some weird betting lines start going right. So they're they're paying attention to these things for this reason, John Tay. You'd still be in the NBA. You'd still be making way more money every single paycheck. You're an idiot. Do you think that the United States has destroyed professional sports by opening up this Pandora's box of sports gambling? No, no. I do think now the awareness of it with these athletes are so much higher and I and I but I believe none of this has ever changed what it is this is gambling like I dude I'm gonna tell you straight up in the locker room gambling was huge like we gambled on everything we gambled on like you know like Kentucky Derby we had pools we had the Everybody in the world has a, you know, NCAA pool, like every, anybody that ever sees it as NCAA, you know, March Madness pool, you know, Masters pools, uh, guys would be gambling on other sports all the time. It was no big deal. It was always around. I actually appreciate that it's these major companies do it so you can actually trust the bet. And it, I don't trust that some dude, you know, is going to come meet me in my car because I won big and he doesn't want to give me my money. Did you guys ever gamble on NHL on PlayStation? James, I know where you're going with this. 
everybody. James is a, an absolute animal on NHL. So NHL, he is an absolute animal on PlayStation. At the same time, I was top couple uh, in, in, uh, on the Mets. I was maybe top one or two. I wasn't too shabby myself. And you're terrible, which is really funny. So maybe we can find out who you were playing against on the Mets. Make some bets. I can make a little bit of side money. Daniel Murphy was probably was right up there, but you could get in his head. If you just talked to him the whole time, you just you could get into his head. And if you played uh, Luongo with uh, with the, the Vancouver, if he was the goalie, he couldn't score. It just the moment you had him as goalie, he was done. Murph, if you're watching... I'm coming after you. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. More likes equals more great content for you. And if you haven't, subscribe now. 